Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be trying out some new products with you guys, but I'm gonna be doing a wear test. This video is specifically on this product. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, and this had really great reviews on Sephora. If you guys watched my Sephora haul, I was so excited to try this because it just had really great reviews and it sounded really great and people with oily skin liked it. So we'll be doing a wear test on this guy. And then I also have a couple other things I figured we could try out. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use just yet, but we have like the Bare Minerals Bronzer, this new Givenchy Concealer. So I figured we could just kind of throw a few other things in here with this as we go along and see how everything wears throughout the day. So if you're interested to see how this powder foundation wears, then definitely keep watching. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that post notification bell. And without further ado, let's just hop right on in and get started with this video. That's Rose's duck. She's probably gonna come upstairs with it. What you got? Oh, you got your duck! How did I know you'd come up here with Delio Duck? I wish you guys could see her right now. She's just so cute. Okay, so we're gonna get started first with priming our skin. I'm gonna do my regular primer routine. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Spray, so that's what it looks like. I love this one in coconut, but I keep it downstairs. I'm actually almost out of it. And then I'll be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I do this with regular foundation. I do it with powder foundation. I do it with light makeup. I just feel like primers are super important when it comes to my skin because I love a smooth base. I love filled pores because I have larger pores. I have texture, so I like to have a smooth surface. First thing we're going to be taking is this Givenchy Tint Couture Eyewear Concealer. This is in the shade 16. I saw this online and I randomly went to just pick it up. So that's what it looks like right there. Really pretty packaging. So this guy has almost five stars. It has four point kind of a star. Oh, it has only eight reviews. $34, 0.21 ounces. It's a medium to full coverage, creamy, densely pigmented concealer that blurs and smooths to revive the skin's natural glow. Up to 24 hours of waterproof wear, this concealer is reliable in the face of any emotion. That's so funny because Tom Ford, I saw on the What's New page on Sephora, came out with a concealer called Emotion, emotion Proof Concealer or something like that. So it's a little weird. Is this like a new thing? <laughs> Are we all just emotional? But it says it blurs and conceals imperfection and provides an immediate anti-fatigue effect. Mama needs that. The billable formula and heart-shaped applicator offers precise results. So I haven't even seen the applicator. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, it looks like a heart. Let me see if I can show you guys. You can't even really tell. It's kind of like, it has a point, I mean. We will see how this looks. Again, this is in the shade 16. I'm gonna apply this underneath my eyes. Okay, good, that's not too light of a color. And then when I do powder foundation, I don't use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, which you guys saw in my everyday makeup routine video. I like to just go ahead and use a skin tone color concealer. Sometimes I feel like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness, when you put stuff on top of it, it can get a little bit more dry. So I wanna avoid that, and I'd rather just go in with a concealer, lightly set it, and then put a powder foundation on top. Personal preference, um, the Bye Bye Redness is not a foundation, it's just to correct your redness. But if you feel like it's not dry on your skin, go ahead and use it. But sometimes I feel like if I try to put like a foundation on top of it, or something where I'm gonna be building it up, it tends to start looking a little heavy. So I just go in with concealer, and I'm good. Otherwise, I would just use it cosmetics and then a cream bronzer like I did in my everyday makeup look video and so far that is looking really pretty actually that just brightened me right up look at my eyelids oh my gosh I don't think I've ever been so dark on my eyes before in my life I'm gonna have to add more up there because I totally forgot about my lid that looks nice and it actually does look like skin I like the color a lot I just kind of dragged it down on my redness because I had stuff left over on the sponge, so I'm just gonna drag it down there. That concealer looks nice. It looks like skin. It doesn't look too heavy or anything. I'm gonna see if I can build it up just a little bit because I see a little bit more darkness under there in this area, and I'm gonna apply a little bit to my lids as well. And this concealer was $34, so pretty hefty price tag. I don't think that it necessarily builds up coverage, but I do like the way it looks under my eyes. I do feel like I look way more awake than I did. So far, so good. 
Um, I'm interested to see how it looks with like foundation and stuff because I'm not going for a really full, full coverage look. I will keep using this, let you guys know what I think, and we'll also see how it wears throughout the day because if it creases, that's a problem, you know? Now I'm just going to take my finger and take this shade Canel, which I normally don't use for my face, I don't think. Yeah, so I'm just taking the shade Canel in this NARS Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. And I'm just putting this on my redness in any areas that I want to do a little bit more covering and that I want to stay covered all day long. I think it's super important to get your primer and your concealers down before you do your powders. Like this is for pretty much any powder foundation. Even when I purchased Bare Minerals Foundation, I looked up so many videos and it was just like, you know, concealer first, all of that first, and then go in with your powder foundation and it just like completes it, you know? So you want added coverage, do this. If you have really great skin, you don't have to apply concealer everywhere. So I will go ahead and put a light amount of powder on my skin. Just to set that concealer, I'm just gonna take this big tart brush and my Pretty Vulgar. This is the Powder Room Translucent Setting Powder. Beautiful powder. And I'm just gonna swirl it in the cap. And I'm just going to lightly press that over the concealer, very lightly. I mean, we're not putting a ton of product on here because we're about to put powder on top. I just wanna go ahead, lock it into place so that way when we put powder foundation on top, it doesn't move. All right, so we've got that down and now we can finally move on to the powder foundation. So again, this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 12 Hour Wear powder foundation and this says it's a next generation mattifying foundation that blurs imperfections for 12 hours and leaves a second skin finish. The formula contains the latest generation Flex Fit Puzzle Complex which adapts to the movements of the skin while also letting it breathe. Your complexion is left looking velvety and natural, never chalky, which is super important when it comes to powder foundation. This foundation is also water resistant for a long lasting matte look. That's kind of the thing that blew me away. Application techniques for optimal coverage. Apply the foundation using the black side of the sponge. Woo, you know that's what we're gonna do. Use the white side for a lighter makeup look. This is what the compact looks like. It's just like a regular Makeup Forever compact. You open this bad boy up. There is the shade and there's the sponge. I think I told you guys in my haul to not get rid of the sponge. You give me a puff and a translucent powder. Normally I toss it. But for powder foundations, I normally like to keep what it comes with or get what's recommended for it because usually it'll apply better that way. I'm pretty sure online it says, by the way, this has 33 reviews and four stars. And it says the coverage is full finish matte for normal dry combo and oily skin. Let me see. I'm just going to swipe. I figured swiping would be the best way to do this. That's a good color for me. <laughs> First, let me just say that. I know I did concealer, and now I'm putting this right underneath my eye, but I really don't know of another way to do it. Okay, what happened here? What is that? I just saw that, what is going on? Okay, let's see how much, I can kind of see some redness peeking through, which I'm surprised about, because I set concealer. It is really gliding on super smooth. Like there's no tugging whatsoever. I'm gonna try to not make a facial expression so I don't get this in my like lines, <laughs> just in case. But it really looks beautiful. I'm just gonna take this back to my hairline, my ear. I see a little tint of red, but not much. But I will say, this looks so smooth, like very smooth. It doesn't look like powder at all. Let's zoom you guys in. Why, why do I do this to myself? I just want you guys to see how smooth this is. Like it is insane. Let's see if I can go in here and just. Take this down my neck too because for some reason my self tan's looking wonky. Look at that, it looks so blurred. What an easy everyday foundation. What I'm gonna do now is I'm kind of curious to see how a brush would work. So I'm just gonna take this little tart brush and see if we can like buff this on the skin and what kind of coverage we get. Again, this is not the recommended method, but I'm sure some of you are curious. Even though it's always better when you don't have to go buy another thing. You know what I mean? Like when the sponge comes with it, why go buy another brush? 
I will say I feel like it looks a little more smooth on this side, like the side I applied with the sponge. It also feels really smooth. I'm gonna take the brush though with this product and just hit my ears. The white part of this sponge feels so soft. It feels like felt. But I will probably never use that because I don't like light coverage for the most part. Like I want things to be covered. I'm super impressed. And it feels very lightweight. It feels so smooth. Like I, I can't get over how smooth this powder is. I'm gonna say it like 500 times. I'm so impressed. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this Warmth Bare Minerals Bronzer. So it's their Endless Summer Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin. Got this in my haul. I don't know if this is gonna be the perfect color for me, but we're gonna try it out. I'm not getting any color with that. Okay, let's try, maybe try this. This might be too light for me. I really thought this would have been a good color, but I'm not seeing anything really coming off. This product, probably too light. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Benefit Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad, and we're going in with Hula Caramel. Really pretty bronzer right here, I highly recommend it. And I'm gonna give ourselves a pretty bronze. I'm gonna take this Too Faced Contour Palette, it's the Coco Contour, and I'm gonna see if I can like highlight underneath my eyes too with this. So I'm gonna be using the shade Medium Contour right here, and I'm just going to contour my face. I'm gonna use this little Benefit brush that comes in their bronzers. Give us a nice kind of chiseled look. Everything seems to be blending on top of this product really well though. So far. I probably should have waited to say that till the end. <laughs> I'm gonna take this side of my hourglass brush and I'm going in with medium highlight. And I'm just gonna see if I can like highlight right here. Ooh. That's really pretty. That just brightened us up. And now I'm gonna try out this new highlighter from Lorac. This is the Light Source Mega Beam Highlighter in the shade Celestial. Actually, have I tried this before? Is this just, I don't wonder why they would send it again if I did, I don't know. I think I have used this many times before. Should I use a different one? Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one even though I've, I think I've got this one and I love it. <laughs> but that means it's gonna be good. So, put this right on my cheeks. God, that powder just makes your pores look so smooth and then everything on top of it looks so smooth. I can't get over it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put you guys in fast forward, do my eyes and my eyebrows, my lashes and all of that, and then we'll come back. I'll give you a little update again because this video is already so long. So I will be right back to chat with you guys. He got it out for me, you know. He's such a lion searching prey. Talking dirty on the floor Look like an honest copy paste Swarm around my head, look the way he goes Buzzing like he thinks that he's my hero Thinking of taking a break, shining it down to refresh Honey, it's all for the better Oh no So spit it out to my face Makeup that took a lot longer than I expected, I guess, because I haven't played with eyeshadow in so long. Um, I just decided to kind of do something different. Actually, let me blend this out real quick. Let me let me just uh, go in there and blend that out a little bit. First off, also, um, I tried this new Lorac 
unzipped sheer silk lip gloss and it smells like NyQuil. Couldn't do it. So I put on that NARS Orgasm. Um, what is this? The Oil Infused Lip Tint. And wow, it makes your lips look so juicy. I'm here for it. I love it. And then for eyeshadow, I did use the Lorac. It has eyelash glue over it now. Um, but the Unzipped Brazen Palette. And this is so pretty. I like this. I know these are like the kind of shades I always go for. But I really like this palette. My skin still looks so incredibly smooth, like in between my eyebrows and my forehead, my cheeks, everything. So far, it's looking really good. I'm very impressed. I could do a supernatural look with this. I could obviously amp it up into a more dramatic look. And it looks phenomenal. Like, it, I mean, my skin looks so nice. I'm going to take it with me just in case we have any mishaps. And right now, it is a 152. Keep you updated. I'll give you an update in the car, um, in natural light, so you can see even more up close. And yeah. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick update on this foundation. Right now it is 357. As you guys can probably see, there's this little man lit and what I found is so cute. So I'm gonna try not to look, but it's really cute. And it has not been long since I've had it on um, and I just got out and started running errands. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, it looks really good so far, especially in person. I feel like it looks super smooth. It doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on. I haven't really been able to give it a good shot because I just put it on, but it does look really nice. Like on my pores and stuff, it's pretty seamless. It's not like sinking into these lines that I have on my forehead now. And everything looks really good. Like nothing looks dry. If anything, it's starting to get a little bit more dewy. I'm loving it. And I feel like my skin looks really smooth. But so far so good. I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, so it is the end of the day and I actually have a really long day tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking off my makeup and going to bed. I'm actually gonna wear this foundation tomorrow too and maybe include a clip in this video at the end of that day or like midday because I have a lot more running around to do. And it's gonna be from like really early in the morning to later in the evening. But right now it is 9.55 and I do have to say I've been outside um, running some errands. I also helped Davis a little bit with some posts. It wasn't any manual work though. I mean it wasn't like hard. I wasn't sweating or anything though today um, so I couldn't really test like the waterproof aspect. But I think everything has stood up really well. I think my highlight's a little bit more gone. Which normally I feel like my face makeup like highlight blush and bronzer usually stays on pretty well. But I do think the highlights kind of diminish, which is fine because I kind of feel like I have an all over glow with this powder foundation. Everything still looks really nice and smooth. Like, look at that. I mean, we're not in that great of lighting. I mean, we kind of are, but nothing, not everything is lit up in here. And my skin still looks really smooth. I'm going to go ahead and do that check in now. My makeup will be much more minimal because I have to wake up early tomorrow. Um, and I'm just doing face products. It'll be a great time to try out this foundation. So. Let's see what I think. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later and instead of wearing it the day after and then filming, I've actually worn it for a couple more days because I wanted to test it out a little bit more and I'm also wearing it right now. So it's been, when did I film that video? I think I filmed it on Monday and it's Friday now. I wanted to kind of give you guys updates because I've also tried this without primer. I've tried it without setting the concealer before putting it on and I figured I would just give you a little roundup and let you know what I think. So the second day that I tried it, I really did like it the same as the first day. I just think it wears really well. It's super nice and smooth. I also have the same routine on my face now where I have primer, concealer, I set the concealer, and then I put the foundation on and it has lasted all day. I have not touched up my skin. This is just what it looks like. And it just feels really good on the skin. I've been loving it. And it's been so easy to get ready. Like it takes no time. I just wipe it all over my face and I'm good to go. If I need to take it with me and like do my foundation on the go, I can do that as well. I love how easy it is and I really like the way it looks on my skin as well. Also, if my nose looks swollen, I hit the crap out of my nose with my phone and it was pretty bad. And then a couple days ago, I actually was in such a rush. I was so behind. I was putting concealer on. I forgot to set it. I forgot primers. So all I had on my skin was like my moisturizer and then I put on concealer 
and the powder foundation straight on top without setting it. And although it didn't look terrible, it really didn't. It still covered. I feel like it didn't cover as much because that concealer did move a little bit. And it did tend to wear off a little bit more throughout the day without a primer underneath. So like right here, my chin was wearing off also on my nose as well. And a little bit on the sides of my cheek too. I definitely recommend having a primer and then setting your concealer or whatever you use to cover up your problem areas for me my redness I do recommend setting it with a powder and then moving forward with the powder foundation because I feel like it just lasts a lot longer throughout the day it is nice and matte it's comfortable it's smoothing it's beautiful I'm obsessed with this foundation you guys I did not think I would like it as much as I do and I actually purchased another color as well because I feel like I need a shade darker so that's what I got I'm excited about it I really love this foundation. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably super long, um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.